In this sample, I've rewritten the guessing game to include looping. This will allow us to check and see if the user has guessed a value that is in the right range, and it will also allow us to keep asking the user to guess a number until they guess correctly. Like last time, we start with the integer answer, which is going to be a number, a random number between 1 and 100. This is the number that we need to guess. Our other variable is our integer guess, which we'll get from the user. Now, I want all of also included a while statement checking to see if either guess is less than 1 or if guess is greater than 100. In either, if either of those conditions are true, that means that the user has guessed a number that is out of range. Let's test that. So I'm going to enter a number that's over 100. Ah, and I have a bug. What I haven't done is I also need the child to ask them to re-enter a number, otherwise it's stuck in an infinite loop because there's no way for the condition to change. Generally, that's a common error where you'll forget to make the condition change. So let's try it again. So I'm going to put in something over 100, and now it asks me to enter another number. We'll try a negative number this time. Still out of range. Prompt me to enter another number. This time I'm going to answer 78, which should be in range. And it told me that the guess was too low and I was cold. Well, that's pretty high. Let's try 90 and see where we're at then. Too low but hot. 93. 95. 97, 99, must be 98. So the program works, and you can see that it checked to see if I was in range. Now the other loop, which we've already seen demonstrated, is checking to see if guess and answer are not equal. And as long as the guess does not equal the answer, each time we go through the loop, it's going to compare the two. And if the guess is less than answer, that means they guess too low, and answer minus guess is less than 11, it's going to tell the user that they're hot, they're within 10 of the actual number. And then they will get the integer from the user again. The other options are if guess is less than answer and it's more than 10 away, if guess is greater than answer and less than 10 away, or the default guess is greater than answer and more than 10 away, and will either tell you your guess is too low but you are hot, your guess is too low and you are cold, your guess is too high but you are hot, or your guess is too high and you are cold. And you can keep guessing until you have gotten the answer correct, which will let you leave the while loop. And this child will say, great job, the answer is, and the guess. We'll run it one more time. So we're going to go directly to following the directions, and I'm going to say 50. And generally, I would keep splitting there. Too low, but I'm hot. So it's somewhere between 12 and 25. So I'm going to try 18. Too high, but hot. Let's try 16. Too high but hot, 15. Too high but hot, 14. Too high but hot, 13. Great job, the answer is 13. So you can see that the guessing game program is working the way I intended.